Hockey is one of the most exciting and thrilling sports in the world. I love hockey because not only am I a fan, I'm a player, and recently I've become a coach. I'm Dr. Ballarat, I'm a psychiatrist in Toronto, and uh, I deal with a lot of patients with traumatic brain injury. Today I want to tell you about how traumatic brain injuries can affect your life, that they're chronic and can be very severe and should be taken very, very seriously. Hockey is very thrilling because it's very fast. It's so fast that players can reach speeds up to 30 to 40 kilometers an hour and can collide and cause what we call a brain injury. What people forget is after a player has had a brain injury, what happens after the hit? This is where we come into play, the psychiatrists, to look at players and patients after they've been hit on their heads in a very, very severe manner. Your brain is, in, is an amazing organ. It's very complex and it's full of chemicals and wires and electricity that run things that you may take for granted, such as walking, thinking, and emotions. When players get hit on the head, their brain also takes a hit. After a head injury, players forget that it can affect the rest of their lives. On numerous occasions, and that is generally what my practice is, is I see patients that have had numerous emotional problems after a head injury. Some of those problems consist of depression, sleeping problems, thinking problems, anxiety problems, and personality changes that they themselves don't recognize, but their families do. Numerous players Kiprios, at the professional level, the such as Nick Kiprios and Eric Lindros, have had to stop playing hockey because of the sequelae of the traumatic brain injury. And this is to truly emphasize how serious this can be on a person's life. People forget that after a head injury, patients still have to live with their brains and their emotions. And also, they forget that it's not only just professional players that are affected by head injuries, but that the common, everyday, recreational hockey player can suffer the sequelae of head injuries. If you do suffer a head injury, and start to experience emotional problems, thinking problems, it is very important to seek help. As a psychiatrist, I need to emphasize that you should go and find help because there are treatments that can help for emotional problems that you might be experiencing after a head injury. Additionally, we want you to speak to your coaches, your parents, as well as other teammates to talk about your feelings, to talk about the changes, and the things that are making it more difficult for you to return back to playing hockey and interacting with your family and your friends. Hockey is a great sport. Try to be as safe as you can, but remember, there is help for patients and players that have had traumatic brain injury. And remember, get help after the hit.